of the Alexander Memorial. Trotter is moving in behind for race 17 on the card from the Illinois State Fairgrounds in Springfield, Illinois, this race. Second heat for three-year-old Trotter. It's in behind. They are at the post, gates rolling. Here they come. Sierra Cosmos again is off stride. They're off and trotting on the inside. King Kong for the lead from the far outside, trotting very fast. There goes Armbro Kaiser gunning up alongside the leader. Those two battling for command as they drive toward the quarter mile mark. Herschel Walker gets away third. He settles on the inside, trotting four as they race toward the quarter mile mark is Fire and Glory. Five is Tarport Mark. Six on the outside, moving up as they drive toward the quarter is Rugged Customer. Away seven on the rail is Pleasure Prince. Trotting eight is Country Day Hero. And off stride as they race past the quarter mile station and dropping from the picture now is Armbro. Bro Kaiser and the new leader is King Kong. Off the quarter in 28 seconds, he heads them down the backside. Herschel Walker getting the perfect journey second. On the outside, there goes Tarport Mark. He's in gear, racing past Trotters. He was third, now second, now ranging up alongside the leader. Tarport Mark on the outside, King Conk on the inside. Herschel Walker sitting third. Racing four on the outside is Rugged Customer. Five on the rail, Fire and Glory. Racing six is Pleasure Prince. Seven, Sierra Cosmos is closing ground. Eight, Country Day Hero. Nine is Armbro Kaiser after a break. The half in 56-3, that quarter in 28-3 fifths. And Tarport Mark had made the front momentarily, but there goes King Conk. Right back out and driving, and King Conk and Sonny Patterson lead it once again. Herschel Walker beginning to move. He drops second. They're in the final turn. Tarport Mark is now third before three quarters. Racing four is Fire and Glory. On the outside five is Rugged Customer. Six on the inside is Pleasure Prince. He's been there all the way. Sierra Cosmos still has ground to make up. He's seven, and he's 13 lengths off the leader. And the leader is King Conk. All three quarters and one, 25 and two, top for the lane. And Herschel Walker still stalking the leader. Those two have opened up daylight on the field. They move to the final eighth mile. Here comes Herschel Walker to the outside, but he's on a break. Herschel Walker is off stride. It's all King Conk in the lane. Moving up the trot, second is fire and glory. But it's going to be King Conk cruising to the wire. He has won the Alexander Memorial, 155 and one. Pleasure Prince up to be two, Fire and Glory finishing three, Herschel Walker after a break unofficially finished fourth. 155, one fifth. Now returning the winner of the Alexander Memorial for 1992, King Conk. Trainer Per Erickson will now join driver Sonny Patterson as King Conk has proven today he is worthy of the title King as he turns back this field in straight heats. This journey in 155 and 1. Again, lowering his lifetime record for the second time today. Several presentations are going to be made trackside. This is the George Alexander Memorial. George Alexander, Jr. has been on hand today and also the daughter of the late George Alexander, Jean Galen and her husband Bob as well are also here. Jean carries the floral arrangement making presentation of the Alexander Memorial Trophy, Governor Jim Edgar of the state of Illinois as King Conk picks up this race named for a man who steered 
the review stakes through some of its most stormy years. George Alexander bred a number of top flight Grand Circuit trotters like Jen Mist, like Carlisle. He also raced the crack stakes filly of the 1960s speed model who won the Kentucky Futurity for George Alexander. And indeed, what a combination it took for this year's memorial, owned in Sweden, trained by European Per Ericsson, bred in New York by Andy Grant, and driven by Dalton, Georgia's Sonny Patterson, King Kong. <laughs>